Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. I mean, in this video, I just wanted to uh, go over a uh, sound bar for a TV um, that I uh, came across. I was looking for one um, online on Amazon. Um, and, you know, I didn't want to really spend anything, you know, you know, any big amount of money on one. Um, now, I do have a Vizio uh, sound bar um, actually in my living room or in our living room. Um, that's actually more powerful than this one, but, um, I was just looking for something, you know, cheap, but, you know, great, you know, or, you know, at least good, um, but, uh, I actually came across this, it's actually called the fin Finoo, or Fenno um, compact soundbar, uh, with subwoofer, um, for only $60, so as you can see right here, it's the one right here, um, for $59, basically $60, I, I think it came to like $63, but that's still not bad, uh, you know, for a, a small sound bar like this with a subwoofer. Um, so I was actually looking at some other ones, but the, this one um, actually had the best reviews, so I, I went ahead and got this one, because, and, and I'm glad I did, because it's a really good uh, sound bar, you know, for, uh, you know, only $63. I mean, you, know, you really can't beat it. It's 140 watts. Uh, 16 inch plus you get the uh, subwoofer with it uh, you get the remote with it I have read some reviews and I am um, going to tell you guys right now that the remote um, is really not the best but I mean it gets the job done so um, but anyway you most of the time you're not going to even have to use the remote after you get it set up and everything but um, I got it set up I have actually got a uh, brand new uh, Samsung 43 inch um, TV for our dining room we actually upgraded it um, we used to have actually a, a 32 inch um, 1080p uh, TV in there um, and it wasn't the best picture because I had a I had a 4k uh, fire stick max on that and it was giving me like a choppy picture it, it just you know it, it just didn't look as good as you know the living room TV that we had so um, I also have a 4k TV in my room um, so I'm used to you know seeing 4k you know TVs and then you look at a you know a 1080p or a 720p um, or less quality than that even and you know you're like you know you need something better so um anyway we upgraded that um and i decided that i was going to get a sound bar for it and this is the one that i got um so i just figured that i would share it with you guys it's a really nice sound bar um you can watch youtube tutorials and stuff on it how to get it set up and everything um but i i definitely recommend it i was looking for you know like a middle of the road i didn't i didn't want to go like dirt cheap i didn't want to get something that was like 20 dollars or you know 30 dollars or something like that but i didn't want to actually spend you know a whole lot because not only that um, I, I don't really need anything, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't really need anything too loud, um, you know, in our dining room because the living room's like right next to the dining room, um, so I didn't want anything, you know, like too loud, um, but this thing can get loud, I'll just let you guys know that. This thing, um, at medium volume, it even gets loud, so, um, it's, it's very well, you know, made, it's very well, the sound is really great, um, it doesn't have any distortion or anything, even at full volume, um, the, the only only thing that's really lacking if you're if you're looking for something with like really deep bass or something or bass um you know this is not going to be you know it's not going to it's not going to run you out of the room it's not going to be like the bass or the bass is not going to be you know thumping or anything like that you know um even at even at full bass i i turned it up all the way and it's not it's not really you know like gonna you know run you out of the room you know or anything or you know uh make you feel like you're in a movie theater or anything like that it's not it, it's just basically made to to boost your tv volume and that's that's exactly what i wanted and that's exactly what it does so if you're looking for something that you know once that you need to boost your tv volume this is definitely it this this thing gets really loud um like i said it doesn't you know distort in any way um it's very clear you know i watch sports on it and stuff and i can hear the tv announcers very well um i can i can even hear you know them uh, when I'm outside, I mean, that's, that's how clear and loud it is. I mean, it can get, you know, really loud, but I mean, I don't, I don't really recommend, you know, turning it up all the way because you don't want to, you know, risk, you know, having distortion and stuff like that. But even at medium volume, I, I have turned it up all the way just to see what it can do. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't distort, but I mean, I don't, I don't really like, you know, turning things up all the way. I, I'm just that way. I don't like, you know, having it, you know, turned up all the way. Not only that, you know, my 
mom um, is in the living room in the chair or something sleeping. I don't really want, you know, it waking her up. But it's definitely, you know, loud enough for my needs. So, um, as you can see here, you get multiple connection options, HDMI arc. That's actually what I use. Um, you get Bluetooth 5.0, you get optical, and you get aux. So, um, and it says all necessary cables for setup are included. So you don't you don't really see that a lot actually. When uh, when I bought my uh, Vizio, um, I, I actually have like a Vizio surround system in my living room because that's you know a lot better you know for a living room. But um, for the dining room, I didn't really need anything like that. But you know um, this. This is definitely you know a, a product that I definitely recommend checking out as you can see it has over 13,000 reviews and 4.4 stars um, and I'm definitely gonna leave it a great review they also have the uh, the d6 model over here I didn't actually get that um, but I you know I didn't need anything really that big but if you guys want to check that out they also have that and they have a d5 model um, they have a d2 model they have they have quite a few models it seems like but um, it says p28 is out of stock so i guess that's not really a you know um top model of theirs but uh yeah that one even has 13,000 uh reviews 4.4 stars the d5 let's see about that yeah 13,000 4.4 so d6 let's see about that one yeah 13,007 4.4 so <coughs> yeah excuse me um so yeah guys, I mean that's uh that's basically the video. I just wanted to get this video out there. I wanted to let you guys know um about this. I I myself, I really wouldn't recommend um, using it over Bluetooth. I mean, if that's your only option, like if you don't like cords or anything, um, you know, being in the way. But the cords aren't really that bad. I just tuck them behind the TV and you can't even really notice them. So um, I I recommend, you know, either using HDMI, ARC, um, optical, or AUX, you know, whatever you can use. You know, uh, wired, wired connection is, is always better, like I like to say. You know, most people will actually tell you that. Bluetooth. Um, you know, it's it's getting there. It's getting a lot better, you know, but it's it, it it still breaks up every now and then, you know, with headphones and stuff like that. Um, blue, Bluetooth is just not, you know, I mean, even in, in 2023, Bluetooth is not, you know, uh, what we really expect it to be yet. So um, if I were you guys, you know, I would definitely try to use HDMI arc if your TV doesn't have that. Um, you can use optical, and if your TV doesn't have that, um, then you can use aux, um, which the aux cable actually connects to the uh, RCA cable. So if your TV has RCA cables, some of them don't, um, or plugins, RCA plugins, some of them don't. So um, most TVs nowadays, you know, um, especially the newest ones, have HDMI, arc, or optical, um, and they have Bluetooth. So you know, there's there's four ways right there, you know, that you can connect the TV, you know, to the sound bar, or to connect the sound bar to the TV so um, like I said you know it's really you know it's a really great sound bar and I just you know wanted to tell you guys about it. as you can see right here there's more um, what you get in the box uh, sound bar uh, the subwoofer the remote control uh, HDMI cable octopole cable um, and the uh, RCA cable so yeah I mean it's a you know it's a really great deal I, I highly recommend it I'm definitely going to be leaving them a good review um, I didn't really think much of it but I, I saw the reviews you know on here and I I read some of them and they were talking about uh, uh, they were actually saying that it doesn't desort, the sound doesn't desort in any way when it's up, you know, at the highest level, and I have noticed that it doesn't. Um, but like I said, the only thing, um, you know, I really wouldn't recommend this for is if you have a big living room or a big dining room. Um, if you have a small to medium-sized room, um, I might actually get this for my for my room eventually anyway because I have a Samsung uh, sound bar in there that I actually got with a TV that I had um, years ago and it's still been working but you know I, I might actually upgrade that um, to this and you know have that in my room because my room's you know pretty small um, so I think it would really sound good in there um, but uh, if you have a small to medium room um, that's basically what this is for and if you're looking for something that's like really bass heavy um, then this this is probably not for you. Um, I would probably suggest like a Vizio soundbar, um, surround sound. You know, I have a I have a Vizio soundbar with like three or four speakers um, set up in my living room. So you know, I have like a surround sound experience in there. Um, if you're looking for something that's surround sound, you know, this is probably not for you. Um, but if you're
you're looking for something that's, you know, better than your TV speakers, then I definitely recommend this. This is definitely louder um, than the stock TV speakers that you will get with your TV. Um, so that's that's basically what I was looking for, and I, you know, found it in this. So, yeah, guys, like I said, just wanted to get this video out there. I'll leave this link down below in the description. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.